faith i've been facilitating simama for the last six weeks i'm doing simama with uh, my brother my sister and my mom we grew up in a single parent family my brother is actually out of out of the country my sister and i are in nairobi and my mother is in Meru. When you were challenged to do Simama, I struggled to, 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 to find the time because I'm raising three children, I work full time, I'm, I'm also working on my uh, dissertation. But this was an opportunity for me to, to express love to my family and to give them the only thing I thought I had to give to, give to them. I've prayed for my family for the last 10 years. I've prayed for salvation of my siblings, I've prayed for great marriages. For my siblings. I've just prayed for us to get closer. These are things I've wanted and I've prayed for for the last 10 years. And when we did the seven day of fasting, I realized this was a very good opportunity for me to act out these prayers this time and to have an opportunity to, to actually, you know, tell my family this is who I am, this is what, what I do, this is what Simama is about, and to bring this prayer almost into into fruition so as i've been doing simama actually i thought i was doing it for my family but it's been so good for me i've learned a lot about myself one thing is i thought i was a very nice girl growing up i didn't know i was struggling with rebellion issues for example my brother told me that if i had done something wrong i would and my mom was talking to me i would take the newspaper and pretend to be reading while whistling. Well, at the same time, my mother talking to me and literally that was such a rebellious spirit. This has been good for me to know because as I'm raising my daughter, if I see those traits in her, I see where they are coming from. And I'm very happy that I'm able to understand myself. It's also been amazing to learn um, and understand my siblings as adults, as more like friends, as opposed to, you know, sisters and brothers. Um, Vulnerability has been key. We have shared vulnerably about the struggles that we have faced. And it hasn't always been easy. It hasn't always been laughing, although there's been a lot of that. It's been emotionally draining, emotionally. Uh, it's required me to invest myself and for them to invest themselves emotionally and to be vulnerable and to share vulnerably about where we are at, where we behave the way we do. And in one of these times, as we debunked the myths that we have believed about God, about ourselves, an opportunity came for us, all of us, to rededicate our lives to, to, to Christ. And this was, this was really amazing because I have prayed about this for long and it's been just good for my, my family to be open, to, to share their lives with Christ and to move forward with Christ. This uh, Simama time has also given us an opportunity to honor our mom. It, it wasn't easy for her to raise us. And the first two weeks we experienced a lot of tech, technology issues with, with her. And we'd, she tried to dial in, but my brother decided to buy her a phone. And my mom was so blessed. And we have apologized to her for the things that we caused, the traumas that we caused for her as well. So it's been a, a time of healing. It's been a time when we have been, you know, we have shared the things we wronged each other, the, 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 the myths we believed about each other, and we have come to a place of healing. It's been so fulfilling doing Simama with people that I, I thought I knew, but now knowing them and understanding where, what they struggle, understanding what they think about me, where I have gone wrong as well as their sister, where I haven't supported them. And the, the most important thing also for us has been understanding that we can break the cycle. We can break the cycle of the patterns that we have seen in our family. It's been interesting to understand our family tree, to see the patterns that, and how they play out in each generation and deciding that it, if possible and with God's help, we can break those cycles of where marriages that do not work, of, other things that you know have not been positive in our family and Simama has given us an opportunity to say you know this can be the end and we can teach our children that it's okay to be emotionally present it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to give your time to your family they're important and we we pray moving forward that these are the values that we will continue my family have asked that we continue with meeting together even after Simama they've asked which book are we doing next and I really thank God and I thank Mavuno for initiating and challenging us to take on Simama. 
and I pray that God will help my family and I to keep meeting, to keep growing together and to keep break, breaking the cycle, the cycles and patterns that were, we did not like in our family.